here is why we are doomed. We are doomed in this uh, battle against terrorism. I like to think that people are going to wake the F up, Anthony. It ain't going to happen as long as there are lawyers and, and uh, uh, panty wastes out there. Hey. Booted, booted bodyguard lashes out at airline. There it is. Remember uh, a while back, the Secret Service agent? He's an Arab-American Secret Service agent. Was denied uh, boarding and flying on an American Airlines plane because he was armed. Uh, and he had some uh, inconsistencies with his paperwork to bring a weapon on an aircraft. And believe me, if two airlines should be a little flustered, it's United and American. And uh, the pilot said that this guy got a little loud when uh, his identity was questioned as a Secret Service agent. And they denied him uh, that flight. And then uh, when everything was checked out, he boarded uh, another American Airlines flight and continued on his way. Does it end there, Opie? No. Does it ever end there? Of course not. No. A lawyer, a scum-sucking lawyer for the Secret Service uh, agent, yesterday accused American Airlines pilot, uh, an American Airlines pilot, of kicking the agent off the flight because he's an Arab-American. Here's why we're doomed. But the pilot uh, said he refused to fly the agent because he became loud and abrasive. The agent, who's a member of Bush's security detail, was booted from the flight. The only reason why he was not allowed on that plane is because he is an American of Arab descent, said his lawyer, John Relman, probably a self-hating Jew. Relman sounds like a Jewish name, right? And he's a lawyer. How the hell do these Jews take up these, these scumbags' causes? How do they do that? What self-respecting Jewish guy would, would defend a son of a bitch like this if it wasn't for the money? You're busting those stereotypes apart, you scumbag lawyers. Let him have an Arab lawyer. Why doesn't he? he? That doesn't look good in the court. Looks good if he's got a Jew by his side. These friggin' Jew lawyers, man, are stupid. Wow. You're stupid. All Jew lawyers? Yes. <laughs> You're out of your mind. Dude, what am I? What do you want me to say? I'm being completely honest. There is no self-respecting Jew that should take the cause of defending these animals. Animals. That's what I'm saying. He's a self-hating Jew. If there's a Jew out there that wouldn't take this case, God bless you. <laughs> Pure and simple, this is a case of discrimination. That's what he's saying. The agent... Um, identified in published reports as Walid Shater is demanding, here it is, an apology for the airlines and civil rights training for its flight crews. Y you know something? You know, the only civil rights trainings I think pilots need is uh, fly over where two buildings used to be. If an American Airlines pilot has a doubt in his mind, about an Arab getting on your plane. Yes, an Arab. Those are the only people so far that have crashed into our buildings. If an Irishman hijacks a plane, then those effing Irish bastards shouldn't be allowed on either. Hey, hey, hey. But why? Be careful. I'm just saying that. We're too busy getting drunk. We, no, we don't true. have time for something like that. I understand. All right, the Italians. If an Italian gets on a plane and crashes it into our buildings, any Dago that wants to board a plane should be denied. No, what I'm saying is, this guy was an Arab. Yes, an Arab-American. Freaking forget about it. Hey, forget about forget it. Forget about it. This isn't about civil rights training. This is about self-preservation. It's about changing things in time of war and not having to apologize for your actions. Maybe next time, the pilot will have suspicions and think to himself, you know something, I really need this effing job. And if this son of a bitch turns around and, and uh, uh, takes me to court on some civil rights violation, I might get fired. So you know what? I'm going to let him on. I'm going to question my better judgment and let this guy on this plane. And then we're right back to square one again. We can't worry about offending people. And this Secret Service agent is a scumbag, too. He should take the bullet and just go, all right, you know something? We're in wacky times here. Sucks to be me. Sucks to be me right now. Sucks to be me this time around. It sure sucked to be the Japs in the 40s <laughs> when they were putting them in uh, happy little camps out in the desert. But you know something? Times change. We got over it. We buy your cars. That's right. Now. The sushi's good. The sushi's great.
I love the nail places for the girls and the Yankee cranky happy ending. You can't beat oh, it. Those are the Koreans, Anthony. Them too. <laughs> <laughs> then here's another thing from the We Are Doomed uh, portion of, of this war. Uh, that uh, Musawi guy, the, the accomplice that um, was supposed to be uh, one of the hijackers. The 20th hijacker, the bald yeah. guy. Yeah. Arrested. Um, he's going to stand trial now for conspiracy. Faces the death penalty on some of these charges. Thank God. Him and his lawyer now asking for a televised trial on court TV to assure he gets a fair trial. He wants the American people, same people he was killing, to now assure him of a fair trial. He, and, and what's his lawyer's name? <laughs> I can't find it right here. You know what this guy's doing? Just like they used our resources, our American ingenuity and know-how to kill Americans, they're now going to use the same stuff to try to get off the hook. The American press, TV, and our stupid liberal panty-waist emotions. I, you know, I would love to watch it on court TV. I always loved that thing. The OJ thing was a scream. It was a hoot. I like the trial with the blue, uh, the blue, the dot. blue dot trial with the Kennedy rape thing. Yeah, right. That was good. That was that was a fun one. But you know something? No, I think this should be uh, behind closed doors. Put him in. Go in the indoor. Come out the outdoor in a body bag. I don't care what happens in the interim. This, this, all these guys, all of them. You mark my words. That son of a bitch traitor. That John Walker guy. When they bring him back, same thing. They're going to use every resource to save their asses. And you know what? We'll buckle under. Those effing lawyers will twist it around, and, and the, they'll, they'll make him the poor victimized son of a bitch, and he'll never see the death penalty. Thank you. So I say to you, Americans, never forget what we saw September 11th. Keep that in mind when these people are being tried, if it takes years. Always remember what happened and never, ever get soft on these people. We can't let political correctness get in the way of justice and our safety in this country. If an Arab gets upset because he's denied access to an airplane because of discrepancies, oh, so be it. It's the way it's got to be. That's the time we're living in now. We have to be inconvenienced as Americans and, and fear for our life. You must be inconvenienced then with some more uh, extra scrutiny. And in closing, God bless America. Thank you. Yeah. You know, the last person anyone should ask about the whereabouts of any of the senior Al-Qaeda or Taliban is Don Rumsfeld. Uh, it, to the extent I had any knowledge, it would be self-defeating for our country and for our effort for me to even utter any thought about that because it would be a, a clear indication that those individuals should stop being where they're being. <laughs> so, so it would be mindless for me to answer a question like that. And I shall not answer a question like that. Do you think those reports are credible? I, I, I'm, coming to that. I'm, coming to, I'm coming to that. So I have not in the past and I will not in the future answer those questions about their location. Anyone who does answer those questions Probably either does not know what they're talking about, or if they do, are violating federal criminal law by providing intelligence information that it's against the law to provide oh. to people who are not cleared for that intelligence information. So I really... Uh, uh, we're looking for them. We intend to find them. And we intend to capture or kill them. And that's <laughs> the best we can do. Hey, that's nice. <laughs> I figured a Rumsfeld clip would be nice there. <laughs> I love that Rumsfeld guy. Uh, some people a little angry. Uh, some people agreeing with me. Some a little angry. Well, sure. John, what's up? Hey, Opie. Hey, Anthony. Hello. John, first of all, is not a Jewish name. It's from the Bible. Okay? I'm not talking about the John part. I'm just saying, you know, whatever. 
I've seen plenty. I, I, I was watching uh, CNN the other night, and there is a fine Jewish gentleman lawyer talking about how he would take up the, the, the cause of any of these terrorists, and I, I could not figure out why on earth they would do that. These Perfect. people hate, hate the Jews and want them dead, yet uh, you would defend them, that the Jewish people would then defend them. I just can't understand it. Dude, that, can, yeah. that guy is Egyptian. He's not an Arab. Egypt what the is hell is Egyptian? Arab. That's Arab! It's not Arab. Oh, Egyptian is an Arab gentleman. So, dude, when you went to an opera, Aida, you and your girlfriend, you want to tell me you went to an Arab uh, opera? I heard girlfriend, and that's all I understood. <laughs> I what said happened? You, I said when you went you and your girlfriend to Opera Aid in Manhattan. You went you and your girlfriend to Arab Opera or you went to an Egyptian opera? What? Arab opera or Egyptian opera? Oh, Aida? Yes. Oh, I, th I think I understood this guy. <laughs> Jesus. I thought either we were being hijacked or he was talking about Aida. Yes, sir. I went to see... Aida. Aida. I don't know about Egyptian or Arab. It is Egyptian. I know, so they all wear those things on their head. So it's a big difference between Egyptian and Arab. Look at the map. What is Egypt and Africa? Look, is? right now, I don't care what nationality they are. If you're going on the plane with a gun and you're Arab, Egyptian, or any other part of that place over there, you uh, have some extra scrutiny you got to go through. That's just the way it is. Sorry. That guy is seeking his service for God's sake. What are you expecting? He had a gun and he was going on a plane. I think George Bush should be there to say, he's good. And even then it should be questioned. You know what I'm talking about? It's the time we live in. Face it. God. We do face it. We live in this country. We know exactly what you're talking about. But if the guy is secret service, have a badge, have an ID, government ticket. Hey, I can't, I, can't, uh, uh, I can't be blamed for the fact that your ancestors decided to do something horrible. The, the, the people that, that are related to your ancestors in some way did something awful. You know, so now you're the guys that got to take the brunt of it. Sorry. There have been plenty of other races during the, the history that have had to do the same thing. We're not talking about violence. We're talking about just suspicion. That's it. Right. We're a little more suspicious right now. Okay. Thank I you, John. It. West Coast Dave saying he never wants to hear that guy's voice on an airplane. <laughs> ever. Daida, <laughs> your girlfriend. What? What happened? She's being high, held hostage? <laughs> Erica, really uh, hey. upset what's, in what's Boston. What's Erica? Erica. Hi. 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 Okay, I'm a 20-year-old from Boston. I was listening to you guys a few minutes ago and heard what you were saying about Jews. Not too liberal. 20-year-old from Boston. Ho -ho. Sorry. Go ahead. So... I was just wondering if you consider your guys, if you consider yourselves to be patriotic. Uh, yes, I do. Sure. Okay, so do you think it's productive to say negative things about a population in the United States, which I, is part of this country? You know what I'm yeah, saying? I, negative. I'm, am I saying negative things about all Jews? The way you were saying it seemed like you pretty much were being pretty anti-Semitic. Anti anti so, uh, yeah. Anti-Semitic. There you go, because I'm pointing out that there are unscrupulous Jewish lawyers out there but you that know what? take there up the causes of Christian Arabs. Lawyers too. Yeah, but you know something? Uh, Jews... So why did you differentiate between Be... whether or not they're Jewish? Erica, because Jews have a special interest in this that uh, Christian lawyers don't. They should absolutely not take up the causes of these people that have been trying to eliminate them, that hate them, that want them dead for years. Why then would you, uh, as a Jewish lawyer, take up these people's causes? Right, and so you can say that maybe you don't think it makes sense, but does that mean that you should go around saying that they're only doing it for the money and all well, these other why things? They're doing it for money and notoriety, period. Well, I think a lot of lawyers do that, but I don't think there's a reason to... Uh... No, it, there is a reason, because there's a special circumstance with Jewish lawyers as opposed to any other lawyer in this circumstance. Any self-respecting Jewish lawyer should not take up the cause of these terrorists. I don't think any lawyer should, all right? I'll say that. But even more so, the Jewish lawyer should stay away from this. Well, I understand what you're saying, but I think that the way you talked about it really... Is is pretty huh? silly. Pretty silly you know considering you know that what? what just happened on September 11th <laughs> That's why I'm showed saying us it. how much hate there is in the world and how much we don't need to contribute to that Erica, because there's enough. You know why I'm saying it like that? Because I'm not thinking about sounding politically correct. It's not about I'm sounding politically from the correct. It's yes, about it not, is. Not it absolutely. Is. <laughs> it's 
It's about not perpetuating Nazism. I mean, what you oh, were saying boy. sounds like you, something that you would have heard on the radio see what happens? 40 years ago. See what happens the second you criticize a Jewish lawyer for taking up the cause of an Arab. You're automatically now an anti-Semite and um, uh, akin to Hitler. Holy Jesus Palomino, Erica. What well, are you I'm talking sorry, about? But I, I think if some, if, what's your religion? Me? I'm pretty much nothing. Okay, well, if there was something about yourself... Whether your whatever your ethnic background is, and people were going around saying, "No damn Polish lawyers, they if, blah blah blah." If I you know something, they're greedy. Whatever. If, I think you might be a little upset too, and it's not about being politically correct. If I had an open a mind enough to realize that whatever ethnic background I had was being hypocritical, I would shut my mouth. Is what I do. I'm not responsible for what Jewish lawyers choose to do. That's well, then their why, personal why, decision. Why are you but then for you defending? to talk about all Jewish lawyers in a derogatory way? Because I said, of what a few hey, people are doing hey, is not right. Hey, Erica, I said I would shake the hand of a Jewish lawyer that would absolutely turn these sons of bitches down. I would shake his hand, pat him on the back, and go, God damn, I can't believe it. Fantastic. But you know something? I'm only seeing the ones on TV that are taking up the causes. I'm sure there right, are which plenty. which is a very, very small percentage, isn't uh, it? Right. Okay, That's what I'm well, saying. I hope you take that into account next I time am. I'm before calling you open your mouth to say something. I'm calling the ones that are accepting the cases dirtbags. Thank you, Erica. Oh, God damn it. Oh, well, there's another 10 minutes of radio that Chicago won't hear tonight. I, t I didn't even get to call her a twat, and you hung up. <laughs> Holy jeez. She's like, I don't even get to call oh. her a twat, and you hung up. Yes, Maggie, that's what I said. <laughs> well, hey, Maggie, what's up? Hi, how are you? All right. Like if Maggie um, could repeat it. Read that back to me, please. No, I was telling the girls in my office because ah. we're on a delay. So I'm hearing everything and then I'm telling them. Okay. Uh, Hi, um, I live in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. I live in Portsmouth and the town next door. Which town? Uh, Dover. Dover, sure. Yeah, they're, in their high school, there were two girls elected um, best couple. And there was a big problem with it and finally... The principal allowed it to happen. Well, this group of Baptists came from Kansas. The goddamn Baptists. Mother Effin. Yep. Baptists. <laughs> and they are protesting. I hate Baptist lawyers. I have no clue about the Baptists. <laughs> I don't either. Are there any Baptist lawyers? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I have my. Um, so what, what was the problem? Uh, two girls were what uh, uh, voted prom king and queen or something? No, no, no. They were voted best couple. Best couple. They were for, together oh, for, the, for the cute yearbook picture. Yeah. Okay. And um, so this group from Kansas comes down, and they have, they're have they standing outside the Dover High School and all over Dover with these signs like, God hates Dover. They came all the way from Kansas yeah, to protest fags, that... Yeah, fags must die. Like, all these horrible... Like, Matt Shepard must rot in hell for three years. I, I... These horrible people. I guess they get funded by some some church mm. group. Yeah. I, I I enjoy the lesbian couples and uh, so in well I mean I don't I, like I'm not a lesbian but I mean yeah more they're, they're more hate in the name of religion huh? more more hate in the name of religion it's wonderful isn't it I know I yeah. we are doomed as a human race yeah I don't know about we that. are I I completely believe we're doomed. People worry about, you remember yesterday the guy called up and goes, someday the sun is going to get so big, it's going to engulf the earth and then shrink down to a white dwarf. And we are all going to die. We are so going to be gone by then by our own devices and stupidity that it's ridiculous to even have the, the, the audacity to believe that we would be uh, around dude, then. Dude, you're, chill, you're, you're freaking out God because now lights are going off in here. God agrees with me. Shut up. Well, why are the lights going off? Not all of them either. One, two, three, four went out. I'm right above you. Erica, crap. stupid Erica. Stupid Erica. Oh. I enjoy the lesbian couples in the in the high schools. Well, there saw, shouldn't be a problem with I it. Saw a, I, I saw a little uh, high school lesbian couple uh, walking hand in hand at the Roosevelt Mall when I was cute, uh, right? Christmas shopping. That's Loved cute. It. Loved it. Followed them for ten minutes. <laughs> Did they have the little lesbian haircut going? Did one of them have the short on top, long they, in the back? They were uh, lip, Ew. They were the lipstick lipstick um, lesbos variety. Anthony. I like that. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. And man, you should see the looks on uh, people that don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> they were horrified. I followed. Yeah. All right, Maggie, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You guys are awesome. Well, we, uh... Awesome or awful? What did she say? I don't know. <laughs> I... Something? All right, well, let's take a break. We'll be back.